Testing, testing, yes we are using the right mic. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm uh, standing out here in the dark, as you can see, I've got the red light shining on me. And tonight, I'm going to talk about the moon. That's no moon. Oh, where is it? There it is. That's no moon. That's an astrophotography killer. Or is it? Oh, and that's Jupiter right next to it. So, for so many years and for so long, everyone has said, oh, you can't image when the moon is up. You can't image when the moon is up. But here I am, out at the dark sky site, the Leo Mao dark sky site, um, imaging. And I'm imaging, at the moment, Skull Nebula, which is a really faint, I think it's MAG-12, um, small little nebula. And I'm imaging it using the Samsung on my 102mm uh, refractor. And I've already been checking the test shots whilst the moon is up. And it's looking good. Like, surprisingly good. Uh, surprisingly good to the point that I never thought I'd be able to do that uh, while the moon's up with a pro proper gear, let alone with a mobile phone. Uh, and that's because of those wonderful filters I've been using. So by using that, um, that L Extreme and the L Enhance, I've been able to come up here uh, when the moon's out and image. As long as I'm not too close to the moon, I'm still getting really, really good results. Um, so the moon, from my point of view, is no longer the, uh, the astrophotography killer that it used to be because of all of these wonderful new filters. I mean, you can see it there right behind me. It's bloody bright. So is, so is Jupiter, really. I mean, they're both really bright, but the moon, it is absolutely killing us at the moment. Um, let's um, wander a bit. Oh, we'll try, try not. Show you what we've got. Try not to impact the setup too much. Uh, we might sort of shine it about there. Let's come back around this way, shall we? There we go. Whoop. There we go. You can see my, my gears all going, running nicely. Um, we'll come over here for a second. Have a look at the. There we go. We're running, doing shots at the moment. So it's doing its thing. Um, so yeah, we're we're up to. I'll face that away again now. We're up to, I think I've got about 30 shots on Skull Nebula already. Uh, looks like it's going to be clear for the rest of the night. It only just cleared up about midnight. And um, yeah, going to wait till it hits Meridian. I think it's about 2 a.m. Move it to the other side because I do manual flips. Uh, and then let it run all night on Skull. See how much data I can get on it. Should be able to get about, that will give me about five hours on Skull Nebula, I reckon. So that'll be pretty cool. Um, so that's what I'm doing at the moment. I've been up here since Friday, um, so it has been a while since my last vlog. But I've just been up here imaging. Friday night didn't do anything other than time lapse. Saturday night I caught the aurora in a time lapse, but I've got to edit the time lapse. I've got to get rid of the noise that's in the, in the time lapse. So I'm trying to work out how to do that. I've got one of the guys here showing me a few tricks, so hopefully I'll be able to share that video um, with you soon. I have been posting some of the other stuff that I've been doing up here, so I posted recently, I think this today was Lagoon, Tarantula, Triffid Nebula, Ida Carina from Saturday night, and tonight obviously starting very late at midnight before it cleared. Um, tonight is all about Skull Nebula and just testing it, um, seeing whether that's going to work. Uh, it should, hopefully will. And then tomorrow night I'm going to go for a couple of other new nebulas that I've never ever imaged before. So, um, been up here for a while just chillaxing, but uh, yeah, that's the end of the vlog. See you on the next one.